Hey, Hannah. <laughs> is that how you start all your videos? Uh, this is how I start all my videos. It's how I connect with myself. So Grace and I just landed in Toronto, and we are here to do press for Electro Vendetta Girl, which comes out June seventh. Woo woo woo! Yeah, ElectroVendettaGirl.com. Yeah. Now we're also gonna answer some of your questions because that makes sense. Yep. Yeah. Question number one: What two YouTubers would make a great team for The Amazing Race, and why? You and Harley. <gasps> oh. Be one, you guys balance out physically. Mm -hmm. uh, two, he's, he's like Jack right now, super Jack. Two, he could just carry me. Uh, yeah, exactly. Didn't come true. Um, and then I think you're both really smart, but I think that you guys get along with each other enough that you would like listen to each other. It's true. And he's got that great laugh. He's got such such a, a good. America laugh. would fall in love with his laughter. Mm. Are you more scared of pregnancies or actual small humans? Like the experience of being pregnant or caring for a child. God, I mean, the caring for the child is ah. to me the most, that's lasts longer than nine months, I'm, I'm opposite. I just could never sacrifice this body. But this is <laughs> Taylor asks, so, you both have two books out, or one's coming out, okay. at bufferingbook.com. Grace, are you so excited about buffering? I'm definitely not not excited. Oh, wow. I said, did you get writing done on the plane? You said, yeah, I wrote about you. And I said, there's an easier way to tell me you don't want to talk about your writing. <laughs> Which one was your favorite to write? Well, the first one was easier than the second one, but the second one, because it was more difficult and because it was more personal, I feel, um, I guess, more attached to it. Yeah. My first book and your first book, they're kind of like what we do online, but just transcribed into paper. Yeah. So I know for you, for sure, your second book is way different. Completely different. It's yeah. Almost departure. So we're going to see how it goes. Yeah. Next question. Would you rather be sexually attracted to fruit or change gender every time you sneeze? Hmm. I'm sexually attracted to fruit or change gender every time I sneeze. But there's so many follow-up questions to what the actual parameters are of this yeah. question. It's like, do you want to change physically or is it just like my identity of my gender <laughs> in my mind changes every time I sneeze? Parameter of the question also is, so what, if you're sexually attracted to fruit, I mean, I could be sexually attracted to fruit right now and nobody would know because it's just me looking at that fruit and <laughs> being like, I mean, it depends one, how hungry I am and two, how ripe that banana is. And three, how bad your allergies are. Yeah, I would definitely choose gender sneezing. Gender sneezing? <laughs> <laughs> All right. 2K17. <laughs> That's me, 2K17 look. I do. <laughs> this is a mustache. Next question. Oh, okay. Next question. Oh. <laughs> I like that you just organically produce a noise that says how you feel every time you look at the question. Like, next question. Oh, next question. Ooh, next question. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Question number. Ooh. Next. Ooh, I can't have it on my own human like soundboard. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about each other? I maybe I should think of a new one. What's my favorite thing about Grace? I think my favorite thing about you is that you can't not nurture and support. Like if someone is having a hard time, you will support that person and be there even if they like don't necessarily ask for it, but it's necessary. Would you like to be smothered? <laughs> And I'm one of those people that I don't like put myself out there to be like, hey, I'm having a hard time, make me feel better. But Anna has an innate ability to like detect hard times and like insert herself for helping purposes. And I got uh, my therapist says I have to get a grip on that. <laughs> my favorite thing about you, and I realized this while I was writing that chapter, is I feel like you always have my back. Like, I feel like I say no judging, but you actually do it. Like, you are a really supportive friend, and if I ever went to you with anything, you'd be like, okay, you know what I mean? Oh, that's awesome. I hope you feel that way. But I think that's how, I mean, as you get older, you learn all these lessons about life and how you want people to treat you and how you want to treat other people. And I've just realized that, like, judgment, hey, internet, is, like, just such a waste. Yeah, it's so complicated and annoying and frustrating and difficult and so common. And I think there's a difference between judgment and like helpful criticism. Yeah. Like I had this thought the other day that real friends call you an asshole. Like real friends point out like, dude, like you're just 
like you're being an asshole or like or you know go like I don't know man or like when did you think about it like this like real yeah. friends question you well because they know the good version of you that does exist and so they want to like sweep away your bullshit so that the good part of you shines and they know what your goals are so yeah. it's like hey you said that this was like what you wanted to be like and yeah. you're doing not that yeah, yeah, yeah. But when someone's not giving you any feedback at all, and they're just like, wow, you're so amazing. They're, they don't care about you. No, yeah, and that's so misleading because people will think that by not criticizing- Constant positive support? Yeah, by like blatant, ignorant positivity that that is support, yeah. but really it's truly not. It's not, no. So friends call each other assholes. Next question. What did you call the TV remote growing up? Remote control? I called it a clicky. No judging. No, that wasn't a judge. I was just doing a facial exercise really quick. Replay. Replay. Huh? Hey! I've been blinking. It's just really Replay. slow. Replay. Huh? Hey! You also are from the Bay Area. So I give everyone from the Bay Area a pass about language and jargon. Because <laughs> you're going to say hella. Like, you earnestly say hella. Hella. Yeah. Yeah, I'm always like, dude. Like, we'll be talking about like, Hella true. And I say dude all the time now. I've picked it up from you. And when I don't text or say dude, it feels too formal. Yeah. Sometimes and too stark. Like, I don't know, dude. And then I have to catch myself. Sorry. What did you guys call the remote control growing up? Um, I'm genuinely curious. Leave a comment in the comments below. Oh, I love this one. This is oh. the last one. <laughs> There's the noise. <laughs> Last question comes from Katie. If you two, if you and I, uh -huh. were to raise a child together, what would you name it? Well, let's skip that part, because that's too hard. If you two were to raise a child together, how would you raise it? Strictly or like calmly? Like what would be our child like rearing approach? Here's the thing, I had thought about this the other day in terms of Goose, my dog, mm. and I want to believe that I would be this laid back mother that would understand that kids have to make mistakes and learn from things and shit on things. No, I can't. I were like I'm such a helicopter mom of my dog that and I'm worried about her constantly hurting herself. I'm worried about like her not being clean. I'm worried about her I'm worried about everything. <laughs> and she's a dog. Why did you think naming it was the hardest part of that? <laughs> what would you name it? Our child? Take that apple. Yeah. Um, oh no, I'm not gonna name it our child. <laughs> oh, I thought that was you were gonna name our child. Our child. Our child. Archie. Archie. That's, that's a cute a, name. That's a great dog that's name. <laughs> Grace, thank you so much for being here. A lot of time to see you, man. Seriously. Yeah. Oh, if you guys want to see more behind the scenes of our day in Toronto, go over to my channel and watch Friday Diary this Friday. There's gonna be tons of tons of poops and goops. So be sure to check out Grace's channel. If you haven't, she's wonderful and hilarious and just so amazing. And if you guys want to make sure that you buy a copy of Buffering, go for it. Yeah, you should. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? I don't know. I'm doing it. No, you don't need it. I get you one. I, know, I get you. I mean, yeah, that's cool. That's my favorite part about you. <laughs> Give me these friends that your books are free. <laughs> I do. My favorite part of you is when you send me a book, you're like, have a great summer, Grace. And I'm always like, Dear Grace. I didn't even send you my first book. I know. <laughs> okay, guys. Have a great day.